Hello everyone, it is guys here and welcome back to another Fall Season 6 video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the top 5 best events for legendaries in Fall 76. Um, this has been the top 5 I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, I was just trying to find the correct uh, video editor. I've been going through a bunch of video editors lately. Um, I was using Premiere, uh, but now I'm using this thing called Splice. So hopefully it turns out very nice. So uh, let's just jump right on into number 5. And into our number five spot, we have a colossal problem where you fight Earl Williams, and it's terrible. I hate this event. Um, it just has a lot of issues. The falling debris is just one of those things I hate. Um, the, the amount of windigos you get is annoying, but it's a good place to get screws and fiberglass if you really need them. So, I mean, it's not terrible all in all. Um, also, Earl has really high damage, energy, and radiation, and cryo resistance, which makes him pretty much impossible to kill if you don't have a full five squad, or eight, I think it's eight players. Um, but yeah, so if you're also late to the event, like you join in like a little later, you're going to get stuck with the level two that wants to complete the event, and he's not going to complete it, and you're not going to get anything at all. The only good thing I can think about this is that you get uh, his balls at the end of the event, so yeah. And at number four, we fight the swamp. Part of the swamp is a event where you fight a strangle hurt. It will spawn enemies. You shoot at it, and then it'll spawn a boss. Um, it's a very underrated uh, event. Um, it's not a guaranteed legendaries, but nine times out of ten, while I'm here, I get at least one, maybe three at max. I've seen sometimes six. Um, it's just luck of the draw. Um, private worlds are tend to be a little bit better when it comes to this event um but as you can see i'm using my legacy and i'm having no issues um i don't really use it but i feel like using it here so yeah and for our number three spot we have radiation rumble radiation rumble is a event where you fight a bunch of ghouls that's pretty much all i really need to know um there's gonna be a lot of them um you also have to you also get to keep aware of the scavenger's health so just be aware of that um but yeah um it's not guaranteed legendaries but i usually get around three half the time while i'm here um just be aware of all the legacy users taking all the xp because fuck those assholes but yeah on to our number uh, two spot And then at number two, we have Uranium Fever. Uranium Fever is just the best event in the entire game. It's a guaranteed three legendaries each time you run it. Um, and legendaries spawn at the five and a half minute mark, three and a half minute mark, sometimes 320. Um, and then the one minute mark. And then the legendaries will spawn. And you get loot. Um, the only thing to be careful is that the people who take the legendaries for themselves, um, just be careful about that. But other than that, uh, have, have fun getting lots and lots of legendaries. And in at number one, we have Scorched Earth. Scorched Earth is one of the greatest events in the entire game. It's a guarantee two legendaries, um, but it's it's the best one because with all the ads it spawns or she spawns during the battle, you can you can get up to a, like a crazy number if you're super lucky. Um, I've gotten one six legendaries as event once, and it's it's just it's just great. Um, just be careful of people who sell it. All right, everyone, that brings us to the end of the uh, video. If you guys did enjoy it, please like, comment, subscribe. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will talk to you all later. Peace.